we're gonna get right into the video if you guys haven't watched the combo guide or tutorial for this deck make sure y'all go watch that i'll post it somewhere here on the screen in the description and pin it down in the comment section go watch that before you watch this because revolution synchron and tuning just made this deck so much more consistent like a hundred times more consistent i'm gonna show you two replays they're not very epic but i do want to show you some gameplay with revolution synchron and then i'll go over the combos they're pretty lengthy then we'll go over the deck list at the end of the video don't forget to like comment subscribe let's get into it so for the first match we went second now luckily this uh deck does run three drone lock birds three maxis three ash blossoms and a biru so we definitely have a high chance of drawing into a hand trap luckily we drew into drone lock bird and we're going up against heroes here now they did go into fusion destiny which guys this gives them pretty much full combo here uh, because they're able to get out um their uh, dpe going into malicious and then using malicious and the other monster to go full combo here because they're going to end up i believe uh, uh going into the link monster to be able to search their one card combo and they have yet to normal summon as well here so think uh, keep that in mind uh we go ahead and draw on Logbird here luckily they don't have the out so they're trying to find a way to continue their plays they're able to actually go into um destiny hero plasma so the board isn't bad considering they were drawing Lockbird. They still have the destruction effect with DPE, which is continuous. And then they do have an Omni Negate on the board, plus a way to lower my attack. So anyways, this is how we go ahead and out that. We're going to go ahead and play uh, the Union Driver, or the Union Hanger. Sorry, we're going to search for Sea Crush. The reason I search Sea Crush here, now we do get drolled as well, but I have the Called by the Grave for it. So we do Called by the Grave it. Now, um, the reason I search Sea Crush Wyvern here... Is because if he chose to destroy the um, the field spell before doing my search, it would have been okay because we still had a assault core. But now, if I play C Crush Wyvern, he has to choose to either destroy the field spell or destroy C Crush Wyvern. If he destroys C Crush Wyvern, I can still special summon a assault core. Um, as you'll see in the combos later, we can actually go the full roar down line without a field spell and assault synchron, which we have access to. Anyways, we go ahead and play tuning. We're going to go ahead and search the uh, Revolution Synchron. Did I say? I said Assault Synchron. I meant Revolution Synchron. And then we're going to go ahead and equip the uh, Union Driver. Now, in this case, he doesn't target anything with DPE, so we're safe. At this point, we are extremely safe. We're going to go ahead and do Revolution Synchron, and we're going to get the Special Summon here. We go ahead and activate this, of course, going into Ancient Fairy Dragon. Then we're going to go ahead and activate Sea Crush Wyvern's effect to Special Summon a Assault Core. We're going to activate Assault Synchron here. Um... And then he chooses to actually destroy Assault Synchron for some reason. And then he gets rid of his Droplet. I, I don't know. Maybe he wanted the cards in his hand or on the board. So either way, he was going to have to get rid of something, right? Anyways, we go ahead and use these two. And we're going to go ahead and link away to uh, IP Mascarena. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is use B Buster Drake's effect. Then we're going to uh, go ahead and also uh, banish these to go into ABC. Now we're going to have enough attack power to run over Plasma with ABC. So luckily the Omni Negate is now gone. So now we can use Ancient Fairy Dragon's effect here. We're going to search uh, Thuring, Discall, Aseum. And then of course here, guys, um, pretty much we, we have everything we want. We're going to go ahead and equip Revolution Synchron to Thuring King. We're going to banish over DPE. We're going to go ahead and get the token. The reason I get the token is to go into Borg Blocker here and then go into Auroradon. We're going to go ahead and activate this going into the Aurora Dawn line. Now, the Aurora Dawn line now has new options because now we have... Uh, we're going to go ahead and go this. Uh, now we have Omega in the deck. So we're actually going to search the one negate there. Go Omega, get rid of the card in his hand, and then have two Omni negates and a banish for his turn. I don't feel threatened at all here. We have two negates, two Omni negates, a banish, and then, of course, um, or the banish, two Omni negates, and then the separation of ABC. We're going to go ahead and get Omega back. We drew a Droll and Logbird. Droll and Logbird seems to be the theme, y'all. Uh, guys, let me know in the comment section. I, I know you guys don't like me talking about Master Duel odds, y'all. But seriously, Droll and Logbird, ever since uh, Super Heavy Samurai came out, it's like suddenly Droll and Logbird is glued to people's hands. I mean, we saw three Droll and Logbirds in this duel. For this match, we also lost the coin toss. That seems to be the theme. But we opened Double Max C. And luckily, we opened Double Max C against one of Konami's favorites vanquish soul which they get to play on your turn and their turn so we have the maxi for their turn and we have the maxi for our turn so really at this point it was inev inevitable so yeah uh you know for this replay maxi wins the duel but we drew into union hanger which nerfs the you i'm sorry we drew into union driver which nerfs the union hanger combo but luckily because of revolution synchron we can play union hanger at one now so union hanger is at one in this deck 
we can afford to play Union Hangar at one because we have so many ways around not needing Union Driver anymore that it, it's it's just insane. So of course, if Union Driver is preferred in the deck, but with Revolution Synchron, we can play around having Union Driver in the hand now. So it's not terrible, horrible, terrible, awful. We go ahead and activate Max C here. That way he doesn't get to play on our turn. Keep in mind, it's my turn. So he's got to pay the tax for that. I know. I mean, Maxi pretty much won the duel here, if you think about it. Anyways, we go ahead and get the B-Buster. Play the B-Buster. We're going to go ahead and attach. Uh, he does activate this to draw a card. I guess he's hoping to draw the Maxi. We go ahead and go into tuning to get the Revolution Synchron. We go ahead and send the card. We activate this. And this is why we're able to afford having Union Driver in the hand, y'all. Because for, for the most part, if Union Driver's in the hand, that means we're going to see crush Wyvern because Union Hanger's going to get us to see crush and we're still going to be able to Special Summon with Union Driver and still get an Ancient Fairy Dragon because of Revolution Synchron. Plus, he's an extender if we want him to be uh, by bringing him back from the grave as a level 1. So that this is why Union Driver in the hand is okay. It's no longer like this massive brick. And getting into Revolution Synchron, we have six ways of getting Revolution Synchron. So chances are we're going to open Revolution Synchron. Um, and again, this is only if Union Driver happens to be in the in the opening hand. So if you consider that, there's low odds of it being in the opening hand. Plus, we have six ways of getting into Union Hanger. Anyways, he goes ahead and brings out his boss monster. We get Therian King. And at this point, now that Therian King is life, I feel pretty safe. He's going to go ahead and do this to destroy... Yeah, he destroys the A Assault Corp. Really pointless at this point. We activate A Assault Corp to bring back the B Buster. We go ahead and then do the C Crush. We go ahead and get out Revolution Synchron. Here we go into Borg Blocker. You see, here's where we use Revolution Synchron as an extender uh, to get into Aurorodon instead of an actual level 1 tuner. So y'all keep that in mind. Don't get blocked out and say, oh, I have to use him as a level 1 tuner to Synchro. No, we're just using him as an extender for Aurorodon. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and go into Sprite Elf. We're going to go ahead and do this to, to do the search. We're going to bring back Borg Blocker because this is on the opponent's turn. We're going to go into Aurora Dawn now. And so now we also have targeting protection with Elf. So this is a plus. Uh, well, probably what I should have done is go into IP and then that, but it's fine. We're going to go ahead and search the nine pillars. We got the nine pillars now. We're going to go ahead and do this to go into a Cell Synchron. We're going to go ahead and activate this. Activate this. Special Summon him to Fraxy. Bring him back the O-Line. He's going to activate this. He's showing all three. I will negate that. So that is negated. And then we're going to do this to go into Barone. We're going to go ahead and activate Tuning again. Bring back the Revolution Synchron. Then we're, I think the, re the reason I was doing that is I was hoping to draw into like a Birth or something. We're going to go ahead and do this to banish his boss monster. We're going to go ahead and attack. Now, I kind of did fail here. I probably should have banished the 3000 monster. But we get to bring back Therian King. We're going to get to set Nine Pillars and set Called by the Grave. Bring back the Union Hanger. Now, if you look here, we have a Banish, two Omni Negates, plus we have Sprite Elf, but we don't have IP in the grave. That was kind of a mistake on my part. He's going to get to this. We do not want him drawing two. Um, so we go ahead and use one of the Negates on the draw two here. He's going to go ahead and activate this, searching a spell card. This is fine. He's going to activate the spell card. I don't want him bringing that back. We're going to use uh, Called by the Grave to get rid of that card. He's then going to go into the uh, this Vanquish Link monster. We're returning him. We're returning him back to the hand. This is fine. And we still have a Banish, keep in mind. Or no, no, we don't. Yeah, I, th I believe we do. Yeah, so we do activate. We go ahead and banish the back row here. He had a there can be only one fringe. And then he actually loses the time here, but there was no way that he was going to win this. There was no way. We were separating ABC. We were going to go into Goddess and then just go for game. Go ahead and get into the combos. Union Hanger and Revolution Synchron in hand is full combo. Now, keep in mind, we have the Deshrudo in our hand anyway, but I want to show you how... Uh, uh, Revolution Synchron just opens up the combo so much more for more options and not just that but we can actually potentially dig a card out of the opponent's hand. How would we do that? We would activate the Union Hanger going into B-Buster. We then go ahead and play the B-Buster. Activate the Union Hanger. Now the nice thing here is that we only play Union Driver at 1 now. So if we had opened the Union Driver just attached to C-Crush Wyvern and either way the effects pop off. Because if Union Driver's in your hand, you're going to special summon him with Sea Crush. Um, and then being able to use Revolution Synchron to go in Ancient Fairy Dragon. So either way, this is the reason now that Union Driver is at one. It could actually We can actually afford to play that one now if we open it. Because we have six ways of getting into Revolution Synchron. And then plus this Rudo. So that's just too many options there. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and activate the Sea Crush Wyvern. Now we're immediately just going to go ahead and go into Ancient Fairy Dragon here. We'll go ahead and use the Revolution Synchron in our hand. We'll go ahead and activate B-Buster here. And now we just have Ancient Fairy Dragon. It's too powerful. Revolution Synchron, like I said, is pretty much a Link 1 here. 
it's huge we're gonna go ahead and search the a assault core so now we have the a assault core uh, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be able to activate this effect which we will we're gonna activate this to of course use theory and disc coliseum or get theory and disc coliseum should i say um so now we have the theory and disc coliseum just continuing the plays we have full combo here but i want to show you how full combo actually looks now for the deck it's pretty nuts we're gonna go ahead and activate theory and regulus we're gonna bring back the b buster so we got theory and regulus now so we're safe from any hand traps go and activate the uh b buster here now we're gonna go ahead and activate the revolution synchron just so that we have that effect already so we're gonna go ahead and be able to do that now now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go into IP Mascarena. We're going to go ahead and act, uh, play these two to go into IP Mascarena. So I want to show you again what full combo looks like now for this deck. So now that we've done this, we're going to go ahead and activate the Sea Crush first and then the Bee Buster. Now keep in mind if you're scared of an Ash Blossom or something, you can activate those backwards. But I want to get uh, the maximum combo route here. We're going to go ahead and search the Sea Crush Wyvern and then we'll just special summon the Sea Crush Wyvern. All right, so we have that. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go into uh, Sprite Elf. And so we'll do activate this. We'll activate this. This is going to let us special summon from our hand. So we're going to activate the Sea Crush. We're going to go ahead and go into the A Assault Core. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is because the Strooder is in our hand, we can either extend or we can just continue the play we can pretty much choose whatever we want at this point. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is activate this. And we're going to special summon from our hand. We're going to go ahead and just special summon. Yeah, let's go ahead and just special summon the Revolution Synchron here. Doesn't really matter what we go for. Um, and then what we're going to be able to do at this point is we can either... Depends on which route you want to go. But obviously, Aurora Dawn's always going to be the maximum route. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and actually go into Frame Lord Omega. That way, we can go ahead and grab a card from the hand. The reason we're going to do this is because we can afford to do it given that we have another extender that is the Strudel in our hand. Or we could get rid of Thurian uh, if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and activate this. We're going to snatch a card from their hand. Then we're going to go ahead and activate um, the Strudel. doesn't matter who you choose because she's just going to be there to be able to now go into a Borg Blocker. So we're going to go into Borg Blocker here. Uh, using this one because of the arrow and this one we're going to keep a assault core there now we're able to go into borg blocker here we're not going to activate borg blockers effect because we want to keep the drone lockbird for the opponent's turn we do have a double sea crush in the grave so we are going to use the uh effect of a assault core to bring back another card in our hand we're going to go ahead and go into aurora dawn here we're going to go ahead and activate the a assault core now you probably want to activate aurora dawn first then a assault core in case they have a hand trap that can destroy the aurora dawn um and so anyways at this point y'all we we haven't even gone full combo yet and we've already snatched a card from the opponent's hand um and you can do this so many different ways so there's different routes to the same exact combo this is just the route that i took because it's what i had in my hand anyways we're gonna go ahead and activate aurora dawn's effect here we're gonna go ahead and uh get rid of one of the tokens and we're gonna get rid of aurora dawn bringing out the o lion this here now we'll be able to actually go into tg hyper librarian because uh, we have elf on the board and it's not negated so if, again if elf is negated y'all do not uh, go this route because then you won't be able to get back the tuner we're gonna go ahead and activate uh, elf's effect bringing back the o lion and this will let us get the draw three um, plus the the full combo here so we're gonna have draw three here because of tg hyper librarian and sprite elf then we're gonna go ahead and go into danglong this will give us the search and the draw so we're going to search for nine pillars plus we're going to get to draw so we'll search the nine pillars there all right so we'll go ahead and get the nine pillars and then let's see what we draw with tg hyper librarian might be even more extenders all right it's not it's an ash blossom though for the opponent's turn we're going to go ahead and go into um xl synchron here or cell synchron and then we're going to go ahead and bring we're going to get to draw and then we're going to get to uh search with uh uh Danglong and then we're gonna go ahead and get the um O Lion back from the grave with XL Synchron. So we'll go ahead and bring back that. We're gonna go ahead and special summon uh Zephraxi from the deck. And then we're gonna go ahead and get another draw here. And then we're gonna go into Barone. This will give us the third draw. So now we get the third draw.
and then we got another O line. So technically here, um, if you now depending on the extra deck, it's going to depend on what you cho you choose to do with the extra deck. For example, if you wanted to keep Savage Dragon in here, which I do, but l let's say for example you didn't want to have Savage Dragon and you chose to go with um, Zeta, then you could have actually uh, special summoned the uh, O Lion to go into Zeta for an additional card. Now in this case with my build, I prefer to have the um, Savage Dragon because the Savage Dragon does come up a lot where you could have savage dragon uh, instead of for example going into omega and things like that so those situations do come up anyways if you look at the board here y'all we have three omni negates that's barone zafraxi with nine pillars and then king regulus so that's three omni negates we have a banish with abc we have targeting protection with sprite elf so both Therian king and uh, barone de floor have targeting protection i'll keep in mind that's placement error there. I probably would have put ABC instead of Therian King and Therian King over here because he pops himself to negate. So three Omni negates, a banish, targeting protection with Sprite Elf. Not just that. Once uh, Therian King pops himself, you can then bring back IP Mascarena on the opponent's turn um, to then go into Goddess with IP Mascarena, TG Hyper Librarian, and then their monster, uh, Mascarena Access 4, and then Sprite Elf is five monsters to go into um goddess and then and then after that point you'll clear enough on the board to be able to separate abc for more follow-up you have draw and lockboard for the opponent's turn you have ash blossom and don't forget y'all y'all took a card away from the opponent's hand so the opponent has one less card to play with revolution synchron just adds so much to this deck it's it's nutty and again you can choose to either have the savage dragon you can have a level seven synchro monster instead which like in this situation we could have actually ended instead of tg hyper librarian we could have ended with another level seven synchro and so you could you, that situation comes up so much where you can end with an additional 11 7 synchro so make up your mind on what you want to do i just like the savage dragon better you so you see this hand here normally back in the day would have been complete brick because there's no way to link away any of our abc monsters because they don't have a link monster that can do that now with tuning we're able to do that what we would do is we'll search the revolution synchron now sending the top card from the deck to the grave sometimes can be extremely powerful as well for example if that would have been a b buster we would have had abc automatically anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and play the c crush wyvern now having revolution synchron will essentially act as a link one because we're gonna synchro summon so now we can actually get rid of the c crush wyvern and if you notice we have a assault core in the hand so we're gonna be able to special summon that as well so we're gonna go ahead and activate the ancient fairy dragon this is gonna let us get the c crush wyvern effect off and then get a assault core not just that then we're going to be able to go ahead and activate the revolution synchron and then we're going to go ahead and be able to special summon him now imagine again if we had sent a b buster to the grave boom automatically we would have had abc which is huge now here we can choose to continue the play and we can choose to special summon the c crush wyvern but what i'm going to go ahead and do first is i'm actually going to go ahead and go into borg blocker and then with Borg Blocker, I'm going to go ahead and activate these two here. We're going to go ahead and get to go into Borg Blocker. I'm going to activate Ao Soul Core's effect to bring back the Sea Crush Wyvern. We're not going to activate Borg Blocker's effect here. We're going to bring back the Sea Crush Wyvern. Now, if we wanted to, which we are going to, we're going to go ahead and activate this to then special summon the Sea Crush Wyvern. Now, we probably, wanted, we probably should have played Ancient Fairy Dragon in defense mode, to be fair. Uh, probably would have been the better play because we, we're going to save him for next turn. But it doesn't matter. Here, we're going to be able to go into Aurorodon. So, we're going to go ahead and bring out Aurorodon. And then now, before, this would have been a complete brick. Now, we're actually going to end on two negates. Um, a, uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon for the next turn. Maxi in our hand and a call by the grave, which is extremely powerful when you think about it. Given that before, this just would have been horrible for us. Um, and now it's no longer horrible for us. So we're going to go ahead and activate this. We actually could have kept the Roar Dawn on the board as well, now that I think about it. Anyways, here we're going to go ahead and go into Danglong. We're going to go ahead and then be able to special summon the Danglong. Going ahead and searching nine pillars. Now we could activate the tokens effect, but in this case we don't need to. So we're going to go ahead and then bring back nine pillars. We're going to go ahead and then get out. Now we could go into Barone if we wanted to too. Um, but I, I think at this point, I kind of want Savage Dragon just because he's going to have the three negates per turn, one negate per turn, um, because of, uh, the Link Monster in the grave. So we could have gone for Barone for one negate plus the destruction effect, but I think at this point I would prefer to have multiple negates if able. Um, so we're going to go ahead and special summon the Zafraxi. We're going to go ahead and get out the, uh, Aurora Dawn here. 
And now if you look at this, y'all, this may not look like a strong board, but this is just an example of what Revolution Synchron brings to the deck. We did not have a Link 1. We don't have a Link 1 playing ABC. Y'all ABC players, you know this. We don't have a Link 1. Now Revolution Synchron kind of remedies that. And think about this. We have two Omni Negates. We have a Maxi. We have a Called by the Grave. And then we have Ancient Fairy Dragon for the following turn. That, to me, is still a very strong board, especially considered with Maxi. We can draw into Nibiru. We can draw into Ash Blossom. We can draw into other hand traps. We could draw into Draw on Lockbird, which just completely ends some decks. So anyways, y'all, this is just an example of how Revolution Synchron acts as a Link 1 and just gets you a free Ancient Fairy Dragon. If you had a Field Spell, that's full combo. For this combo, this is how Revolution Synchron just gets us into the level 7 engine. We'll activate Cash Tier of Fenrir. We'll go ahead and search uh, Scareclaw Cash. Then we'll go ahead and play the A Assault Core. We'll go ahead and just go into Ancient Fairy Dragon here immediately because of Revolution Synchron. Do you, do you see this? This is nuts. This is nuts. And then now we have the level 7 engine here without have actually having another level 7 monster in hand. But we could go ahead and activate this, you know what, we, which we will because it's a level 1 body. Now, if we had another level 7 Synchro, which again, you can choose to have a level 7 Synchro or um, Borloed Savage Dragon. That's completely up to you on which route you want to have. But you can, uh, at that point, either choose what you want to do. But what we're going to go ahead and do is at this point, you're going to go into Tomahawk. And now that you have the complete level 7 engine, here you just have full combo. If you can afford to keep the level 1 Synchro Monster on the board, keep it because it may be handy. Um, so we can do this. or Actually, it won't be handy in this case because of what we're going to summon. But what we go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and activate IP. We're going to go ahead and do this, bring out IP Masquerade. And, and if you've been keeping track of this deck, you already know where this is going. This is going to full combo. Um, we're going to go ahead and then activate Elf. We're going to go ahead and do this, bring him back Elf. We're bringing out Elf. Now we have IP Mascarena in the grave for the opponent's turn for free. We could even activate Scareclaw Cash here if we wanted to keep the level 1 Synchro on the board, which I think we're going to go ahead and do. So we'll activate Scareclaw Cash here. We'll go ahead and summon it. We're going to go ahead and send off uh, Fenrir. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go into Borg Blocker. And this is so that we can keep Revolution Synchro on the board. I don't see a need as to why to keep it, but I want to see if the opportunity presents itself here. Here, this is going to let us go into uh, Auroradon. And if you were, again, if you could also choose to do um, Cupid Pitch. If you wanted to go Cupid Pitch, the level 1 Revolution Synchron will let you go into Cupid Pitch. Then let you do your search for Corridor, being able to do Thunder Dragon Colossus. Revolution Synchron does so much for this deck. It's crazy. It is simply crazy. You guys, we're going to go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this. Bringing out Olion. Now, because we haven't activated Elf's Effect, we'll be able to go into IP, uh, TG Hyper Librarian. We'll go ahead and play TG Hyper Librarian. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the token and bring back uh, Olion with uh, Elf. And we'll just see what we draw into here. We're able to play this. We're able to do this. Now we're going to be able to go into Danglong. We're also going to be able to draw a card here. So we're going to go into Danglong. We're going to get to draw a card. And we're going to get to do our search for nine pillars. So we'll go ahead and do our search for nine pillars here. The beauty here is that if we draw into birth, now we can bring back Fenrir if we wanted to too, which is, this is another huge thing here. So we draw into, we draw into, look at that. I mean, this is a beauty. We could have drew into Thurian King. We could have drew into this Colosseum. Either way, now we have an additional negate. We're going to go ahead and go into XL Synchro on that way. We can get the additional draw. This is going to get us two draws total more. Plus, we're going to be able to bring back the level uh, the level 2 Synchro Monster, um, or the level 2 Tuner from the grave here. We're going to go ahead and activate this. Then we're going to go ahead and be able to uh, do our search to Special Summon uh, Zephraxy. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that as well. So now we'll Special Summon Zephraxy. Bring back Olion. And then we're going to get our draw. And what do we draw into? Let's find out. We drew into an Ash Blossom for the opponent's turn. That is huge. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and activate this. Then we're going to go ahead and bring out Barone. We have targeting protection on Barone. We're going to get to draw another card. What is it going to be? And it is a Nibiru for the opponent's turn as well. We'll go ahead and activate Regulus here. We could. It doesn't matter what we do. Let's go ahead and do this. So that way Regulus has protection from effect monsters. 
and destruction affection in case uh, they try to destroy him because the assault the a assault core will be destroyed and in this case we saved the revolution synchron uh pretty much for nothing here it was it wasn't it, there wasn't a need but that opportunity does present itself y'all again if you run a level seven another level seven synchro you could have actually saved one of the tokens from tomahawk and then gone into the level seven synchro so even this board here we have two three omni negates we have three omni negates we can bring back ip mask arena um with elf once uh Therian king uh, goes ahead and gets rid of himself letting us go into whatever we want because we do have the extra monster with revolution synchron with sprite elf with ip mask arena and the opponent's monster we can go into goddess so we have that and then we also have the uh, effect protection with ASO Core on Regulus, this destruction protection on Regulus, targeting protection from Sprite Elf. We have a Called by the Grave. We have a Cross Out Designator, which if we're playing against Cash, we also have the way to stop them for that. We have an Ash Blossom. And then if things get really bad, we have an, we, this deck is just broken. For the last example here, I just want to show you how any Field Spell and Revolution Synchron is going to get you to full combo. Now, in this case, Union Hanger, when I say any Field Spell, either any abc piece that you can summon or a way of getting abc piece plus a field spell so for example we have the field spell here we're going to go ahead and search our abc piece and let's say we had no other things now of course we have cashier unicorn so we have full combo anyways but if you didn't have cashier unicorn you would play the we're not going to activate the effect this is just as an, to show you an example of how you can get into full combo so we're going to go ahead and activate the union so let's say you had drawn dragon ravine or disc coliseum or whatever um pressure planet we're gonna go ahead and activate this getting you ancient fairy dragon getting you whatever you want from the deck which is crazy and then of course if you search an abc piece especially if it's like b buster where you can search another abc piece where you can just continue to extend because of ancient fairy dragon's effect but here this is pretty much full combo because ancient fairy dragon is going to give you access to whatever field spell in your deck which is nuts so this is just an example where now before if you didn't have a way to extend that revolution synchron as long as you have a, a field spell you have full combo because you have ancient fairy dragon revolution synchron does so much for abc it's freaking wild and then not just that though but you can mess with the extra deck to where either you can have the Borload savage dragon like i said or choose another level seven synchro monster there's clear wing which will let you negate there's another one which will let you negate level five or higher monsters um there's zeta which will let you banish there's so much other level seven monsters too that will open up for an extra um disruption on the opponent's turn so just another example how any abc piece and revolution synchron will get you full combo on top of the fact of the ability to be able to special summon the revolution synchron in case you can't extend this is another extender to go into borg blocker and then go into aurora dawn so just keep that in mind y'all really quickly this is the deck list it is a 46 card deck it's got two more cards i believe since the last deck but to be honest it's well worth it it's very consistent three drone Lockbirds, three maxis three ash blossoms and a biru two called by the graves and a cross out designator for the hand traps absolutely needed in the deck two o lions i've gone over my last video y'all this is no longer a brick in hand watch that video if you haven't had a chance to watch it we got revolution synchro on a three we want to see this card in our hand which is why we have tuning at three also sending the card from the top of the deck can be extremely powerful sometimes it can be a little risky but for the most part extremely powerful to send that card from the top of the deck because it could be that abc piece you need it could be one of the cashier cards if you open birth so extremely powerful as well of course, we have the two A Assault Cores, the two B Busters, and the two C Crush Wyverns because they're the bread and butter. Essentially, it's an ABC deck. And then we have the Union Driver at one. We used to not be able to have this card at one. We used to have to have it at two. But now that Revolution Synchron and Tuning is in the deck, this card can absolutely be at one. The odds of drawing it are slim. And if we do, it's not the end of the world because there's huge odds of opening all the extenders that we have in the deck. Destrudo, of course, we need that for the Dragon Ravine for another option to go into Ancient Fairy Dragon. Uh, we do have Cash of Fenrir three unicorns and then one scare claw cash this is for your level seven engine the double extenders that all of these cards have to offer the Therian king regulus for the negate plus the extender we have zafraxi and nine pillars which are total bricks in the deck we won't want to see those cards in our hand um, but they are very strong negates and are going to allow us to be and they're searchable uh, once we go full combo of course the tunings we went over the three dragon ravines for the distrudo three union hangers to be able to go full combo the one theory and disc coliseum because this is searchable by ancient fairy dragon also want to get into that theory and king pressured planet because we do want it to happen to our level seven engine and again the cash cards are double extenders birth because obviously we want to search it and it enables our double extender plus the level seven engine to go into tomahawk um and then the nine pillars for the uh negates 
uh, for the extra deck, two Dragon Ball, uh, two ABC Dragon Busters. I said Dragon Ball. Uh, TG Hyper Librarian for the triple draw. Dang Long for the Omni Negate. Ancient Fairy Dragon for the full combo. Side Frame Lord Omega so that we can dip into the um, opponent's hand. Uh, Burl Old Savage Dragon. Again, either this or Omega can be replaced with the level 7 Synchro, which will also benefit the deck massively. Uh, this is to go into Barone. Of course, Barone. We have the number 42 Galaxy Tomahawk to go into the level 7 engine to be able to go full combo. IP Mascarena, Borg Blocker, Sprite Elf, Ola Auroradon, and then Underworld Goddess. The extra deck is extremely tight. Only one, maybe two cards are negotiable here. You choose. Actually, just one card is negotiable here. Unless you don't want to do the triple draw, then three cards are negotiable. That's completely up to you. If you want a better explanation of this deck, again, in the description or the pinned comment, we'll have my combo and tutorial guide for this deck without the revolution synchron but now that revolution synchron here it's just too powerful uh again y'all let me know what you think of this deck comment down below a like means the world to me on the videos y'all it helps grow the channel thank y'all so much for liking the videos and everything if you haven't subscribed to the channel i would really appreciate you subscribing we do endymion content ojama content abc content as well as just fun shorts and then sometimes reaction videos or update videos so please please if you haven't uh subscribed to the channel uh, please subscribe if you are subscribed just make sure you're still subscribed and youtube hasn't unsubscribed you because they have a habit of doing that again thank y'all so much love every single one of you i'm so glad revolution synchron is here catch you on the next one